everybody, Mike Hancock here, Chairman of Rock Your Life. And Rock Your Life started because of my passion in music. So today, I thought I'd share for the musos there uh, just a few of the guitars in my guitar collection. And uh, they're sort of strategically placed all over the place, but this is probably uh, one of my babies here. This is a Gibson Les Paul. This is the 1956 uh, Jeff Beck Oxblood edition. And it's a handcrafted guitar. It's a handmade, so... Um, I've had this guitar for probably about about five years now and the thing about Gibsons is they've just got this particular tone so you'll definitely if you've ever listened to rock music you'll definitely know that tone uh, Slash plays them uh, all of the great rock guitarists definitely play Gibsons so guys picking up my second Gibson Les Paul I've had this uh, little baby, actually only for a few months. This is a 1971, it's a sunburst colour, very, very popular. Uh, beautiful guitar, has hardly been touched, this guitar. Uh, belonged, I believe, to a guy called Dave Dobbin, who's a, a New Zealand musician. But the thing about these guitars is that they're so, uh, got so much definitive sound within them. So, even without changing the volume a lot, I can play like this. So, they've definitely got some grunt behind them. This is a heavy mother though. Uh, I don't know how much this weighs, I've not weighed it, but I've not played a full gig with it. If I did, I think I would be like having a pretty sore back. So that's the Gibsons. We're about to move on now to the Fenders. So folks, this, the, this is so much lighter than the Gibson already, I just, uh, I feel it. This is a 1995 uh, Fender Telecaster, it's got the mother of pearl fretboard here. Uh, I bought this guitar new in 95. As, you, as you'll notice uh, by playing the Fenders, they, they definitely haven't got the meat of the Gibsons. There's a... So, even though I've uh, got the amp set exactly the same as the Gibsons, you could probably hear the difference, you know? It's such a lot cleaner and a, and a lot brighter. But they are a beautiful guitar, and uh, the Telecaster, there's something about them. Rolling Stones play them, of course, and you would have seen them there. Uh, Mark Knopfler plays his Telecaster quite a lot as well. So, yep, yeah, another great guitar. So, we're now on to the Stratocasters, but folks, this is not a Fender Stratocaster. Um, I've had this one for a couple of years. It's actually a handmade Swiss guitar. They're called Blades. They're made by a guy called Levinson in Switzerland. They actually are so much more beautiful uh, to play even than the Fenders. I know you Fender purists will kill me for that. But uh, the type of sounds are just really bright. So very bright. It's got a five stage pickup here. So if I flick the uh, switches around a bit and turn the volumes up on a couple of them. So we get it to about there, probably is a good one. So you can see it's definitely a different sound, right? Needs a little bit of a tune, of course, as you pick up. But but definitely also very bright, very powerful, quite grunty at the same time. So once you get the, used to the different switches, and I've got this set at the moment, so it's sort of like off and on, and I've got it set to a very bright lead sound. So uh, check these guys out. Uh, great guitar, as I said, Blade by Levinson, Swiss handmade. This, guys, for all you heavy rock metal guitar players, this is, um, this is the same guitar that Joe Satriani plays. It's called a JS1500. It's got the little Joe Satriani inlay there. It's black, it's small, it's light, it's versatile, it's very fast. I'm rebuilding this at the moment, so most of the strings are off. You won't notice that, so I can't really uh, play it for you, but it also has, it also has the Floyd Rose uh, Tremello arm there, which is just... 
just a beautiful uh, sounding guitar. If you want to play metal music uh, and you want to play as fast as Satriani does, then you definitely need to check out some of his guitars. And what I love about it is it's so light as well. The last guitar for today, folks, is uh, this baby here. This is, this is the Ovation semi-acoustic. This is a 1985 uh, collector's series. I bought this uh, a few year, years ago as well. Uh, definitely invest in guitars. You know, good old guitars like the Gibsons or this, they never go down in, in value at all. And uh, this is semi-acoustic, so you can play it on stage. <laughs> and bright. So the Ovations. Uh, beautiful guitars played by a lot of guitarists. Mark Knopfler out of Dire Straits uses his Ovation uh, quite a lot in that song Romeo and Juliet I think. So um, go and check them out as well. So there's uh, five or six of my guitars in my collection. I've got about 15 in total. I uh, love playing them, never get them enough time to, but I hope you enjoyed them. <laughs>